Hello Pines1101 and welcome to another Saints Row reboot video. So I wasn't planning on making this video but obviously I was making progress with another Saints Row reboot video but obviously an update came out and it's for uh, some new event that arrived and yeah and also so the game is released on Steam now so yeah so we got the um, new event and it's obviously about ghosts so I was literally playing it and I was going into the intro but the fucking game crashed on me for three minutes three fucking minutes got a game crash and lost the intro footage and I got fucking pissed but hey so I'm gonna talk about the intro so, obviously you had to go to the creepy house, and Nina is literally going to phone call you, talking about, hey, this is this woman that she needs your help with, and obviously you got to go to the house and just make sure you talk to her, and then she gives you information and tells you to go to these locations, and yeah. So, there are five um, demons slash ghosts that you do need to, like, go to. So, obviously this is the first location, and I started to fucking go inside a Ghostbusters vehicle, which is fucking stupid and hilarious. But yeah, you just talk to a ghost, and then obviously the mission, the mission starts. So obviously enough, you've got to talk to these random ghosts, talk about random shit, and it's just, literally it's boring. And then, obviously you've got a brand new gun that could literally kill the demon. So, yeah. Also, this weapon is kind of a bit shit, but I literally tested it out when I literally completed the whole entire thing. So yeah, obviously you got to kill the demon, but they also possess rival gangs, and I'm literally questioning how. So also the first gang that I fight is Noali's gang, and they look so fucking cool, but they fucking made them so incredibly useless to the story and the open world, and now they just literally become this it's so bad so yeah the wisp weapon functions it you have to like charge it so you can actually get higher damage you should just do one charge you know you do like a bare minimum damage so yeah just literally shoot the shit out of the fucking ghost ghost dies that's it so obviously you are gonna fight rival gangs and random fucking people so, obviously the first one, you have to defeat Nawali fucking rival gangs. Even though they know not even exactly rival gangs because they don't even fucking exist in the fucking open world. So, once you beat the fucking demon, you get a phone call saying, Hey, congratulations, you killed one demon and one of the friendly ghosts is at the house. So, you've got to do that four more times and then that's just it. So yeah, the second one, I got to fucking attack the marshals being possessed by the fucking demon. And then the Lost Panteros. It's it's just so bland. Also, gotta fight the fucking Night Guards from Five Nights at Freddy's, cause why the fuck not? For no fucking reason. And SWAT team from hell. It's just gets worse. And worse and worse. And then finally, go into the final one. And you have to fight the idols being possessed. And that's it. So also the demon will possess inside one of the fucking models and then obviously you gotta kill the fucking pit, the um host and then that's it that's all you do in this event well yeah it is replayable so it's up to you if you want to keep replaying this shit all over again but for me it's gonna be a one-time thing it's not that great to be honest but yeah so you get a couple of rewards when you literally complete the whole thing but the only last thing you had to do is just literally go back to the mansion and have a little chit chat with Quinn so yeah, all the ghosts have returned to the mansion and obviously Quinn literally explained that he's literally on mistake and then obviously our character already knows and we already know that he's just literally a mistake which is pretty generic fucking storytelling but hey, that's literally the whole entire event, so 
the event is just boring. It just really is. If it was a Ghostbusters fucking game, then we will fucking talk something else. But this is literally Saints Row, and it's just stupid. It just really is stupid. Not to mention the mansion is kind of boring and empty. The only thing you could only see is just the ghost that you just helped with. Fucking killing the rival fucking demon. And that's just it. So, what about the rewards that you get? Is it worth it or not? So the only clothes that you only get is two t-shirts and one jacket. And that's it. So, I was, you only get the um, bottom up. And this one actually looks pretty cool to the original one. That you got like a nice spider web kind of design. And even the neck as well. Looks really nice. And the t-shirt. Generic. Boring. Not that great. And yeah. I checked everything else. And there was nothing new. It's only those two shirts. And one jacket. So. Yeah. Also with the jacket. I actually addicted to this one. It looks really cool with the skull design on it. And. Opposite of the pattern, looks pretty cool, but not really going to wear it all that much. So once again, it's the only jacket that you ever unlocked for the cosmetic. So those are the only clothes that are available that you get in the game. Next you get some ornaments. So you get this one here, which is this fucking statue that has a demon on, on it and an angel. It's okay, but at the same time, not that great. And we get the um, tree guardian. Which is literally generic, we've already seen it since the uh, mansion. But if you want to prefer Halloween, then it's up to you. Now the last one, we got a clown painting. And yeah, they call it weird clown painting. Seriously. No wonder this game's a clown. But yeah, so, new weapon, and there it is. That's how, how it looks like. And also you got to get f f 10 triple kills. So you could literally have a special ability that you can actually summon uh, ghosts. So yeah, it's actually pretty cool. So here's a little footage of just me summon ghosts. So the only max limit that you can only do is five. You can only send five ghosts and then that's just it. That's all for the special ability for this weapon. It's okay, but... This weapon is not really designed for like combat efficient, it's more like a support efficient. But yeah, it's an okay weapon, but it's more goes onto a support role, not really combat action type of weapon. Also we got a new uh, material, so we can literally make our weapons, vehicles, cosmetics and our character look like a ghost which is actually kind of neat and I actually do like that it's actually pretty cool to actually see that and it's literally been like while since we um had a different material um thing so yeah it, <laughs> he could literally be a ghost but in the most weirdest way and not that much of a good way because you still be like visible, having just like this blue and green type of color, and you face out a little bit. But yeah, and that's it. And also, you can actually save your um game with cheats on. I did test it out, and it did have a um a cheat symbol not notifying that you are having a save with a cheat. So it actually works. So, I'm very appreciative that she's actually worked, but obviously for me, I've already unlocked all the achievements, so... There's really no purpose, I'm just literally not having cheats on, so I'm obviously going to put cheats on, because who the fuck cares about playing this game or getting achievements? So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to my channel, it helps me out a lot. And, what do you think about this update? Do you like it, dislike it, somewhere in between? Let me know in the comments below. And... If you were mentioning is there any new vehicles? Because they did see showcase the um like the witch, the broomstick witch fucking vehicle. I looked high and low for it. Not there. So obviously my theory is probably gonna be on the Halloween update. But yeah. See you guys in the next video. Take care everyone. Bye bye.